Hi everyone, it's Chrissy and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a trailer reaction. Now, this trailer reaction is a little bit different from the ones that we've been doing in the past because as you can see, I'm not doing it with face cam. And that is just because I have had a... <laughs> I've had a really rough couple of weeks, so I am still sick. I look like absolute garbage. And also because last week we had contractors over who came in and they replaced the entire ceiling in my bedroom. And they still need to come out and paint all of the walls and the ceiling next week. So my bedroom and basically my background in videos looks like garbage. It it, it looks really, really bad, and you guys don't need to see that. So that is why we're not doing face cam. But we're going to be taking a look at the new Home Chef Hustle stuff pack. And honestly, you guys, I just about jumped out of my skin when this stuff pack was announced in the Sims Summit. Like, I, I want to say stream, but it was technically a video premiere. But anyway, it was announced in the Sims Summit on Tuesday. And this is the first stuff pack that we've gotten in, honestly, I think since 2018 or 2019. I can't remember when the paranormal stuff pack came out, but I believe that was the last stuff pack that we got, which, you know, ha it has been years. It's been like at least three or four years at this point. So everyone thought that stuff packs were dead. They were never coming back. Everyone thought that, you know, kits had replaced stuff packs and... That was just going to be the way of it from now on. But stuff packs are back and this is so amazing. I mean, obviously in the Sim Summit, they did talk about other things. They talked about the fact that we're going to be getting yet another expansion pack this year as well. But I'm not going to talk too much about that. I did talk about it in the speed build that went up yesterday. So I will leave that link on the screen and in the description in case you guys want to go ahead, check that out. Hear my thoughts and all of that stuff about the entire Sim Summit. But yeah, so this video is just about the new stuff pack. And I can't remember the last time that we got a trailer for a stuff pack either. I don't think we usually get trailers for stuff packs. I could be wrong. But like I said, it's been years. So I don't really know what the norm for stuff packs are even like anymore. Like I don't know what the release time is going to look like or anything like that. But we're going to go ahead, jump straight on into this like I almost said trailer. I almost said screenshot, but I mean trailer. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna go ahead, jump straight on into it. I did mute it for you guys because I don't want to worry about copyright. But yeah, so first off, I'm gonna like, I'm going to watch this, but I'm probably also going to be pausing it a lot because I, I did like briefly scroll through it really quickly just to hear if there were any dialogue or stuff like that. And there isn't, there's just music, so that's why I'm muting it. But it goes by really, really fast. It's only like a minute and 50 something seconds. So yeah, we're going to be pausing a lot. So first off, this definitely looks like a food stall. It looks like an actual food stall. It doesn't look like one of those sales tables from, you know, City Living or Jungle Adventure. It looks like an actual, like, stall that your Sims can run. And yeah, that food clearly is not great. It looks really, really bad. <laughs> But yeah, obviously we can also see a lot of like, we can also see new hairstyles and clothing. I'm not going to be pointing those out as much probably because it's not the first thing that I notice when I look at trailers. But yeah, so this, that is the first look that we're getting at the new stuff. And you guys, I have the biggest smile on my face right now. It's absolutely insane. But we're getting a full new kitchen set. I mean, these are new counters, new cabinets, obviously new shelving, but new counters, new cabinets. This at the side kind of looks like a fridge, like one of those built-in fridges. It could also just be a cabinet, but it looks like a fridge. And that is new knife block clutter. That is so cool. Obviously, these are new clutter items as well. I'm wondering if these are actual shelving pieces or if they are objects that already come with the clutter on them i mean i would have i would like to get this clutter separate but knowing the sims team they're probably attached to the like 
shelving units because it's just what happens but yeah so this another thing that is a cookbook that is an actual cookbook and obviously a new like overhead range hood a new oven by the way that looks fantastic new spice rack and what was that okay so that was a cabinet because that is the fridge so yeah new fridge looks like a new sink more dish racks that looks like a little stack of dishes i don't know what that is it kind of looks like a scale for like weighing stuff like weighing ingredients but yeah so yeah obviously new counters that kind of looks like i don't know what that looks like but it looks really cool it's like clutter stuff and oh my gosh so many colors i'm going to so obviously that's very red but getting a new like backsplash kitchen tile looks like as well wallpaper that looks like new flooring too but yeah so obviously there's a lot of different colors for this now that looks like okay so that looks like obviously ingredients or stuff but this thing here i don't know if those items are like i don't know if these are ingredients that your sims will actually use or if they're just clutter items that definitely looks like just a clutter piece but that looks like an actual harvestable ingredient and this thing which is stealing the entire show is the waffle maker oh my gosh that is i'm uh, my my brain just short short circuited i think so <laughs> I was just I wish I was doing this with face cam because I was just I just sat here with my mouth open like fish but this is a mixer like an actual baking mixer and these things like these little bowls look like ingredients that your sims will actually be using like they've taken it out of the fridge and just put it down but this this looks like I don't know what this is this looks like some sort of like pizza oven or you know something like that i mean it, it looks like some sort of oven thing so all of these are new appliances that is it, i think i'm thinking it's a pizza oven obviously a waffle maker there's a little mixing like stand mixer that over there next to the fridge kind of looks like a dishwasher i don't know if it's just part of the counter if that's just the way that the counter looks but that kind of looks like a built-in dishwasher and it just it looks like a little bit like it's a little bit smaller because that is probably like one tile wide that counter regular tile counter and then that dishwasher kind of looks like it's a little bit smaller like just a smaller size dishwasher i don't know but yeah so sims can i don't know they're actually baking so this is like that's them like baking but because yeah so that is, oh my soul that is an actual freaking pizza oven i'm losing it like i really wish i was doing this with face cam but that is an actual pizza oven and also that sink is freaking gorgeous it's one of the only sinks that we have that actually looks like a kitchen sink but yeah so pizza oven they can bake they announced in the sim summit that your sims can now make cupcakes in an oven you don't need that huge freaking oven like cupcake machine contraption anymore so that I'm thinking that is what the like mixer is for. It's for like baking and just to make that a little bit more realistic. But that is an actual pizza oven, which means we're going to be getting new pizza recipes. I'm assuming it would be really stupid if we weren't. But they mentioned in the Sim Summit something about getting more recipes. So all of those things on let me just like like those are new pizza recipes and so many other more th like new things also it looks like your sims can actually put these like new appliances on this little stall so that they can like move their stall and their appliances to different places obviously it's kind of like a pop-up market almost and they can make the pizzas at the stall they don't have to bring it in their inventory and stuff like that which is really cool i really like that oh okay so her pizzas aren't great yet either making muffin not muffins waffles and yeah doing some more baking baking in the oven which sounds really stupid but like yeah baking in the oven baking actual cupcakes oh that looks so good those are all like new waffle recipes i mean obviously we already had the cupcake recipes but we couldn't make them in an oven but these are all like it looks like all waffle recipes which is so cool i really like that oh i like the little I like, I just noticed that little like matching 
matching jumpsuits or like matching outfits for the kids and the adults. That's so cute. I love the chef jacket as well. That's really cool. And I, I love the f like animations. The fact that they actually have the animations of like flipping the pizza and, you know, putting it in the oven. That is so cool. Oh, look at all those recipes. If you guys know me, I'm always someone that loves, and I mean loves, getting new recipes in the game. It's one of my all-time favorite things for them to add is new recipes. So, like, getting all of these recipes is so, so cool. I love that. Yeah, so yeah, you can make... That is one... Let me just go back a little bit, because that is one weird-ass looking pizza. I don't know what that is supposed to be, but I'm so excited to see all of the new items and, like, recipes. This, now this. This is so cool, because this almost looks like a restaurant. It looks like, you know, there's a kitchen in there, there's this little, like, pop-up stall, there's, you know, this little stall over there. It, it, it doesn't look like a restaurant, per se, like, because there's obviously no host station, no waiter station, it's not a dine-out thing. But it almost looks like one of those kind of like almost farmer's market type places where they like sell produce. Obviously not pictured in this, but I imagine if you wanted to, you could build a lot like that. But, you know, where they sell produce, they sell fresh food, they sell homemade stuff that, you know, they make on the spot for you. Which, you know, that is so cool. I mean, can you imagine having your Sims like... Maybe run this one as maybe have a pizza spot or and that one being like a waffle space or a cupcake space or, you know, something like that. That is so cool. But yeah, break in new appliances. The mixer, the pizza oven, the waffle maker, obviously a lot of new create some assets. And as you guys can see, create some assets not only for adults, they also have stuff for like kids and stuff. And obviously, you know, a lot of new build buy items. I'm really, really excited for the, <laughs> for the, like, clutter items, especially. Okay, so, uh, the, no, I almost said December. Where is my head at? September 28th. Home Chef Hustle Stuff Pack. And it's September 28th. So, I believe that is in, like, exactly two weeks, I think, from today. Yeah, okay. So, I did just check. It is exactly two weeks from today. It's on a Thursday. And they also have a blog article out. So it says, upgrade your kitchen with the Sims 4 Chef Hustle Stuff Pack. Live your cooking dreams and become a masterful home chef. And obviously they have a couple more pictures for us to take a look at. I'm not going to go too in-depth with that because a lot of it we already saw in the trailer. And it's just build, buy and cast assets. I'm more interested in what they actually say in the blog post. It says, if you want to be a top tier home chef, you need the right tools and workspace. Players can renovate their Sims' perfect home kitchen, upgrade to new sleek designs inspired by European kitchen designs, which is absolutely fantastic. We desperately need more modern kitchen assets, like modern kitchen assets, modern house assets as well, not very like country-esque which is what we've been getting a lot of the time recently but yeah it says tap into your best interior design skills with a full set of counters and cabinets and matching appliances okay the oven stove fridge and dishwasher so the thing that i saw that looked like a dishwasher is a dishwasher from amateur chefs who are looking to make their mark in the kitchen to food entrepreneurs who are ready to turn cooking into cash any sim can live out their cooking dreams. Get ready for the stuff back that will earn your sims a lot of dough. <laughs> it says new small appliances, big kitchen upgrades. Okay, small appliances, blah, blah, blah. Brand new stand mixer. Okay, sims can eat edible cookie dough straight from the prepped jar. That is so cool. Waffle maker and countertop pizza oven. That is absolutely fantastic. In the Sims Summit stream, when they announced this stuff back, I also mentioned this in the speed build video in the voiceover, but they talked about, you know, obviously the, like, the waffle maker and stuff like that, and I was worried that we would be only getting the waffle maker. I said in my voiceover that I was hoping for more items, and yeah, we're getting three new appliances, which is fantastic. 
It says, speaking of pizza, show off your Sims' sleek modern pizza oven with new recipes inspired by traditional Italian flavors. Your Sims will become pizza pros, chopping toppings and tossing the dough before sliding an unfinished pizza into the oven. Not a fan... What? Not a fan... Azar? What? Not to worry. Oh, no, okay, yeah, I... I yeah, my brain is very slow today, apparently. You can also make focaccia bread. Oh, that is so cool. We've added so many recipes over the years, and it's a little trickier to find what you want. To support your Sims' culinary quest, we've added filters, so you can find the meals you're looking for in a fraction of the time. In the free base game update. So, that UI update that they showed in the Sim Summit of, you know, the menu stuff, like picking food and stuff like that when you're cooking that is a base game update that is so cool that is not the only thing we've added to the base game update did anyone say free the cupcakes <laughs> you can now cook cupcakes in your own oven so yeah that is another base game thing you can cook cupcakes in your regular oven cupcakes have always been a base game thing so yeah being able to make them in an oven is just normal and i really wish we got we, we'd gotten this like, years ago but yeah, it says sell your sim sell your culinary creations to your neighbors. Sims can become food stand owners and set up shop in different locations, bonding with their customers and witnessing their outcomes of selling their culinary creations. Players can even customize the name of the anywhere any fair food stand and choose the types of food they want to serve. Hint hint, the waffle maker and the countertop countertop pizza oven street food style recipes and portable features make them the perfect companions for the food stand so you can like so the waffle maker and the pizza oven are both portable and you can basically move them with your food stand to make stuff like on the fly which is great it also says cooking in style ultimate cooking adventures simply wouldn't be complete without the right attire with kitchen ready hairstyles food themed accessories aprons Ooh, aprons for the whole family that's cute we plan to have your sims looking like some serious home chefs also yeah we absolutely love the new kitchen clogs <laughs> okay yeah so that is the clogs that the sim are wearing it kind of looks like crocs to be fair and yeah obviously it is for all you know all like platforms pc mac playstation play xbox all of that stuff so yeah that is the little blog post i will leave the original trailer as well as this blog post link in the description but yeah you guys that is the trailer and like like i said i really wish i was doing this one with face cam because my face throughout this one was absolutely priceless <laughs> But I'm really excited for the stuff pack, not only because stuff packs seem to be making a comeback, which is something I know a lot of people have really been wanting, but also because this whole style of the stuff pack, from the modern kitchen set to the new appliances to the new recipes, that is all so up my alley. Like I mentioned, like I absolutely love food. Like I am a total foodie. I love food. I don't like cooking, but I love eating. So I love food. And getting new recipes in The Sims is one of my favorite things and having them explore that and all of that stuff. So yeah, this stuff pack is right up my alley. And like I said, it's coming out on September 28th, which is exactly two weeks from today. And hopefully I'll be able to do a giveaway of this pack when, you know, it comes out. But you guys will have to keep your eyes on my channel. I'll definitely post about it in the community tab if I can. And I'll also obviously mention it over on Twitter. And I'll also be over on Twitter probably retweeting some, like, you know, questions and answers type things that the sim gurus usually do when a new, like, trailer comes out. They usually go on Twitter and they answer questions. So if I see any of those things, I will definitely make sure to retweet them with you guys. So go ahead, follow me over on Twitter. My Twitter is always linked in the description. And yeah, I'm also on threads and all of that stuff. Also join our Discord because I will be posting updates and all of that stuff in the Discord as well. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about the stuff back and the trailer and all of that stuff. And if you're excited to see stuff backs making a comeback. 
But yeah, hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give the video a like. If you're new to the channel and want to see some more Sims content, feel free to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell as well to be notified of whenever I upload a new video. I hope you guys are all having a great day and a great week and I'll talk to you all in my very next video. Bye everyone!